Actually, before we get started, let's get a big internet round of applause for JF and Ian and that awesome Labor Day special. Oh, Come on. Oh, this, is, this is the internet applause. Because you got to hit the mouse. You just go like this. But if you're right, you go like this. <laughs> now, that was good. Really awesome Thank job, guys. A new Lexus LFA breaks the lap record at the Nürburgring because it's supposed to. Hennessy tunes the Bouse 302 Mustang and a Ford Raptor limo. That's all today on Fast Lane Daily. Oh, and we got Dumbass Tuesday, and I'm Derek D. We can't forget that part. That's important. <laughs> Next generation of performance is here. Royal Purple's new high-performance street motor oil, HBS. Fortified with zinc phosphorus anti-wear protection, HBS exceeds the demands of high-performance and modified engines. Magnified, HBS improves metal surfaces for longer engine life. HBS's high film strength frees up more power, reduces heat and wear, plus provides greater protection. The next generation of performance is here with HBS from Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. We are going to start today off with the Lexus LFA Nürburgring Edition. According to Lexus enthusiasts, World Car fans, and Evo Magazine's Chris Harris, the new LFA Special Edition has set one of the fastest times ever posted on the Nürburgring. 7 minutes, 14 seconds. That's nearly 8 seconds faster than previously recorded. That is this long. It's about that long. That took forever. Yeah. That makes the new LFA the fastest production car around the 12.9 mile track. The 4.8 liter V10 for the Nürburgring edition has been boosted to 562 horsepower for an additional cost of $70,000 over the normal LFA. The suspension is specially tuned to be perfect for driving the Nordschleife. But to be honest with you, it'd be pretty embarrassing if Lexus didn't hold a production car record for the track with a car designed specifically for it. It's like a guy named Bucky Jones not being a hick. I mean, his name is specifically designed for it. You see what I'm saying? And it's been a while since we did a Hennessy performance story, so let's do one. But the wait was very much worth it. New out for 2012, Hennessy has taken the Mustang Boss 302 and put it on a diet of steroids. Right, Rick? Boss. Yeah. Always. Always there for me. Three new versions of the car will be offered. The HPE 490, the HPE 650, and the HPE 700. The numbers? Take a guess what those indicate. Are you guys guessing? Uh, oh, uh, wait. Nope, that's wrong. If you said horsepower though, you are correct. <laughs> Tell them what they've won, Bob. There's no Bob here. Anyway, each car features a Hennessy supercharger, but the wide range of horsepower figures come from the different options available with the kit. With the 490, simple things like a cold air intake system and stainless steel mid-pipe boost power and I ran out of breath. But that boosts power slightly from stock form. On the HPE 700, you're looking at everything from a high flow throttle body upgrade, high flow fuel injectors, a more powerful fuel pump, new engine management system, and a full upgrade of the supercharger pulley. That's a lot of stuff to keep track of. Each option comes with a warranty, but we're not sure on pricing yet. We don't expect it to be cheap. The HPE 650, by the way, will do the quarter mile 11.9 seconds at 124 miles per hour. That's a zero to 60 time of 3.9 seconds. Not bad for a new Ford Mustang. Not bad at all. And moving on to another Ford product, the Ford Raptor. But this story isn't about any ordinary Raptor. This one comes exclusively with a baby Raptor. Because nothing says you're a badass like a baby dinosaur. No. But this one comes from the UAE and it's got six doors. That's right. Welcome to the Ford SVT Raptor Limo. The stock Raptor is one of our favorite vehicles we've ever driven here on Fastlane Daily. Probably one of the few vehicles this decade that will be considered a classic in 20 years time. Well, a tuning company in the United Arab Emirates has taken a Raptor, lifted it slightly, and added a third row of seating. So in cases of hurricanes, blizzards, or zombie attacks, you'll be able to take your friends and family to safer ground in luxury. We should do a commercial for them. Sure. Call us. And now let's check out this moron on Dumbass Tuesday. If you've never ridden a motorcycle before, you may want to start out on a small dirt bike or something like that before jumping up to a crotch rocket like this. Why don't we just have a look? Get ready for it. Yeah. 
Looks like someone let the clutch out a little too fast. And I love how in the beginning, the guy filming asks if there's anything he'd like to say to his dad, and the dude just gives a rock metal sign. Classic dumbass. Like, I'm gonna be awesome. No, you're not. You're a dumbass. Well, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D, and the weather here in New York City is awesome. It's not bad. It's raining. Awesome. I mean, it's it raining. Like rain. It's gonna rain for the next four days I here. I love that. Well, of course you do. You're like Debbie Downer. Classic. What a dumbass. Who's a dumbass? Him. Who's also a dumbass? Me. <laughs> For not knowing what to say. But I think I got it. Do we get it? We'll do it again. Oh. And now let's check out a dumbass morning on this Tuesday. <laughs> on the morons. <laughs> so fucking jeez. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.